Okay, I'm back here with this Audi A4. It's a 2013 with the 2.0 T. We just got done with the water pump on it. The check engine light is on. This was another complaint. Hooked up the scanner and we have a uh, mass airflow volume circuit A. Plus it's low on fuel. It definitely is low on fuel. One thing I know about this, um, the owner stated that they had it somewhere. They tried to diagnose the, this, this fault and uh, it's been with the vehicle for a long time. It hasn't been inspected for a long time because of this. I believe a mass airflow sensor was put into it, maybe more than one. <laughs> Anyhow, it's here today, water pump's done, so the vehicle is drivable. However, we wanna look into this, this issue here. So now I'm gonna take you through a test procedure, and this all takes time, and this is where the added value comes in. Perform a preliminary check to verify the customer's complaint. Check engine light is on, yes. So go to step two. Ignition off, connect the scan tool. Start engine and let it idle. Check the airflow quantity of the mass airflow sensor. Specified value should be two to five grams. So the general rule of thumb, this is a 2.0 liter. It should be two plus grams per second. All right, now that I have it running, I'm gonna go into live data. Air mass, actual display, no display, zero. See where it says zero grams a second? That's confirming our code. Was our value obtained? No. So now we're gonna go to step three. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Ignition on. Check mass airflow sensor, harness connector, terminal three to ground for voltage. Got the key on. What I don't like here, is they have an aftermarket air cleaner on it. But right here's the mass airflow sensor. We're gonna unhook that. This one has a cover on the back, so it's gonna be hard to back probe it. So I'm just gonna lightly front probe it. What I'm gonna grab is just a simple multimeter, DVOM. On this pin, I should have 12 volts. Hmm, not 12 volts. As you see, I got my five volts. But this one here, I have absolutely nothing on this. Was our value obtained? No. Perform a visual inspection of the harness and component. Check wiring for open, high resistance, short, or harness connector for damage. Corrosion, loose, or broken terminals. Repair faulty wiring or connector. I hate the fact that this is aftermarket and this could pull on that that short lead right there constantly like that. <laughs> I see something already. Is it gonna really be that easy? I never get that lucky. How does this cover come off? Aha. Take the wire pull. Well, let's see if we have 12 volts. Oh, there you go. Uh, let me see if I can get a replacement plug for this because it's broke down inside. Either that or I got to try to extract that that pin and re-solder this. Guys, well, I was hoping to do one a little better. However, I was able to make it to the local salvage yard. Colors are the same. It'll give me a couple, it'll give me like another inch of wire as well, because this is already tight as it is. And if I go trying to fix this, it's just gonna cost me time. And I think you see what I'm gonna end up doing here. Cutting this out. We're committed now. Got a piece of shrink wrap on each wire. I'm just gonna solder, let this thing heat up a little bit. That one. Oh, it might be a little hard to see, but. I don't wanna get it too hot, so you'll melt the shrink wrap. Let the wire get hot enough to melt the solder. 
what I do if I have sharp edges or something, I take a file. Otherwise, it'll poke through. Potentially short out against something else. And at this point, if you have a heat gun or a, a lighter, whatever you use to melt that. All right. We test it out or we could uh, simply seal everything up. I think I'm okay with it. Sealing everything up. Like I said before, you cleared it so we come right back to so see what happens. Well, that's a good sign. Before, it would just read zero grams per second. I think it's still there in there. It's going to be honest with There you go. All right, guys, that's just a quick demonstration of how you should always check your power and grounds because sometimes that parts cannon doesn't hit the target and you'll have to go back, diagnose it again. And in this case, it had a broken wire. So without further ado, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay tuned.